Okay, I'm going to try and do um, four different examples of factoring. Uh, one of the things that's important with factoring is be, being able to identify what numbers to use. And the numbers that you use are all based on the multiplication table. So um, if you don't have a multiplication table, print one off. There's one in Canvas under the Read Me First in course introduction section. Print that off, and you can use multiplication tables on an exam. I guess the multiplication tables are on your calculator too, but often it's easier if, if you don't know the times tables real well, it's uh, often easier to have it close. So here's a question where I'm asked to factor. And so um, if there's no number out front here, or there's a 1 there, but if there's no, not a number other than 1 there, what I'm looking for are two numbers that multiply to negative 32 and they add to a negative 4. So those same two numbers, they multiply to negative 32 and they add to a negative 4. So what I'm doing up top here is I'm looking for 32. So uh, where's 32? Ah, oh, there's one. Where's another 32? Um, I guess there's one over there. Uh, 2 times 16 is also another one. Um, is that all? 8 times 4, 2 times 16. I think that's it. So uh, the two numbers then uh, that multiply negative 32 would be uh, 8 and 4, or 16 and 2, or I guess 32 and 1. Now, if it multiplies to a negative 32, one of these has to be negative. So it's either negative 8 times 4, or I guess I could put 8 times a negative 4. Negative 16 times 2, you get the idea. So I want whichever one of those adds to a negative 4. It looks like it's that one right there. Because negative 8 plus 4 will be a negative 4. And if I multiply the 2, it gives me a negative 32. So since there's just an uh, 1 out front there, I can just take the x squared and split it into here and here take my 32 and split it using those numbers right there. So it would be negative 8 and a positive 4 factored. If you want to check, you can. x times x, x squared. x times 4 is a positive 4x. Negative 8 times x, negative 8x. Negative 8 times 4, negative 32. So for sure I got the first and last ones right. And if I go, I'm up 4 and I lose 8, I'm going to be down 4. That means that this is correct. It's my answer. I'm trying to oh, <coughs> this time I have a number out front. Ouch. <laughs> so if there's a number out front, um, I can do guess and check, or I can do the AC method. Um, I'll maybe show you both of those, uh, just, just to sort of confirm which one you like. I'll maybe put a line here, or which one that you're accustomed to using. So uh, we'll do both ways. Okay, so let's do guess and check first. So what I do is I take this term and I'm going to split it into the first slots. So 12x squared, I look for 12. There's 12, there's 12, there's 12, here's 12. Okay, so this 12 here is 6 times 2. This one is 4 times 3. So my two options for 12 are 6 times 2 and 4 times 3. Uh, okay, I tend to like to use this one, but it might be the other one too. But let's start there. We're just guessing and checking. So I'll split it to a 4x and a 3x. And then 2, of course, is there and there. So 2 times 1. So I have to put 2 somewhere and a 1 somewhere else. Now this is a negative 2. So one of those has to be a negative number, one has to be a positive number. Let's, uh, I don't know, it's 1 and 2, so let's put a negative 1 here and a positive 2 there. Let's check. 12x squared plus 8x minus 3x. If I subtract those, it gives me 5x. Nice. So that's my factorization right there. 4x minus 1 times 3x plus 2. Nice when I, you guess it first time. Usually that doesn't happen, but sometimes it does. To factor this with um, the AC method, 
if you're using the AC method, uh, you have to do something slightly different. So what you do is you multiply this first term, which we call A, by this last term, which we call C. So 12 times negative 2 is a negative 24. Now I look that 24 up up here. There's a 24. There's a 24. There's one. There's one. Are there any more? Oh, there's one. There's one. So uh, 4 times 6, uh, 8 times 3, let me write that. 4, 6, 8, 3, 12, 2. Right? 12 times 2. Or 24 times 1. Now it's a negative, so one of those has to be a negative. So it's either like this, or it's like that. Either like this, or like that. This, or that. And this, or that. And I pick whichever one adds to a positive 5. This one right there. Okay, so now I can't just put those in the brackets. But what I do is I split the middle term, and instead of writing it as 5x, I write it as 8x minus 3x. So let's do that. So I have 12x squared. Then I'm going to write plus 8x minus 3x minus 2. Notice that these two together still add to that 5x. I'm just rewriting it to help me factor. Then what I'll do is I'll use uh, group factoring. Uh, to factor that. So group factoring, I take these first two and I factor anything that's common out. Looks like I can take a 4 and an x, leaving me with 3x plus 2. Out of these ones, I can't divide anything. I guess there's a negative. Let's take a negative out. A negative. So that'll leave me with 3x plus 2. Now notice that in this term and in this term, they each have a 3x plus 2. If that happens, then I can factor it further to be 3x plus 2. Uh, so it gets rid of those two. And then what's left is a 4x minus 1. That's the AC method. Uh, but notice they're the same. The, the, they're um, in the different order. But that's the commutative property that, that it doesn't matter what order you multiply things in. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, uh, so I have to factor this one first. I'm, I'm noticing that there's an x everywhere. Let's factor stuff out. And let's maybe start by factoring out a minus. It's never nice to have a minus out front there. So let's factor it out. And also it looks like there's a 2 that's common. I can divide everybody by 2. And I can divide everybody by an x. So let's factor out a minus 2 and an x. On that first term, that'll leave me with x squared. The next term, that'll leave me with a plus 3x. And the last term, that'll leave me with a minus 28. I think that's right. Now, if, if you're having a hard time getting that, just take your minus 2x cubed, minus 6x squared, plus 56x, and what you do is you just divide every term by what you're factoring out. So on that first term, the minus is cancelled, the twos is cancelled, x cubed divided by x, x squared. Next one, the minus is cancelled out, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and then one of those x's cancel out, so my answer is 3x, right there. And then the last one, plus divide minus, minus. 56 divided by 2, 28, and the x's cancel. Okay, so now that I have that, let me just rewrite it so it's not that messy. x squared plus 3x minus 28. Now I'm going to look up 28 on the side here. 28, there's 1. There's 1. So 7 times 4. So to get my 28, it's 7 times 4. It's a negative 28, so it has to be a negative 7 and 4, or positive 7 and a negative 4. And I have to pick the one that adds to a positive 3. That's that one. So since there's no number out front, I can just go directly to my brackets. x, x, 
and then uh, a positive 7, and a negative 4. And I'll just remember to write that minus 2x that I'd factored out to begin with. One last example. Okay, oh, another one of those ones with 15 at the front. Uh, that's okay, I can't factor anything out. So, I'm just going to try and guess and check. So I have 15, uh, here's a 15, there's a 15. Both of them are 3 and 5. So things that multiply to 15 are 3 and 5, or 15 and 1. Let's start guessing there. So let's split the 15x squared into a 3x and a 5x. Doesn't matter what order you put those in. Now let's do our negative 8. So 8 here, here. Is that all of them? Oh, 8 and 1. And 4 and 2. So to get 8, it's either 4 and 2 or 8 and 1. Let's try this one. Again, here we're just guessing and checking. Okay, so let's maybe put, oh, and it's a negative 8. So it's either a negative 4 and a positive 2, or a positive 4 and a negative 2. Same thing with the 8. 8, negative 1. Let's try that one. 4 and negative 2. I don't know where we're going to put them. Why don't we put a 4 here? Plus 4, negative 2. Okay, now we'll, now we'll uh, foil it. So 15x squared uh, minus 6x, 4 times 5 is 20x, 4 times minus 2 is a minus 8. If I add these together, it gives me 14. Ah, lucky. So that is my answer. If it wasn't my answer, then I'd go again. I'd maybe put my 3x and 5x, and maybe I'd switch the 4 and the 2 around. So I'd put a minus 2 here and a plus 4 there. Multiply, 15x squared, this would be a plus 12x, this would be a minus 10x, and minus 8. But when I add those two, I just get a 2x, which isn't what I had wanted. So that means that this one's wrong. Okay, so the guess and check, sometimes it takes a few shots at it, but you can get it. And it's all based on the multiplication table. So have one handy that you can sort of pick out uh, which numbers that you need to use to try uh, in your factorization. Okay, hopefully that helps you.